Hey guys, what's going on? Today I am on my boat, but I am not going fishing. Let me show you why. We ripped up our floor and we found out that we have a bad gas leak. What do we got going on, Dad? Well, two weeks ago, Brooke and Victor took the boat to the Sands Marina to top it off for the hurricane and fill up all our, our jugs for our generator by boat. And when she topped it off, we didn't use the boat you know, all while the hurricane was around for like a week. And for the first time ever, I checked my bilge and there was fuel in my bilge. So I thought, what was it? Was it because we topped it off? Because we never top our boat off. It, it holds 150 gallons. And this boat is so good on gas that we fill it up to 50%, run it down to a quarter tank, back up to 50%. And they must go out um, 10 times on a quarter of a tank of gas in this boat so we never top it off so I thought hmm so everybody was telling me what to check so the first thing I did yesterday was I, I replaced the gasket on the fuel sending unit and it looked horrible it was so corroded that I thought hey I found my gas leak and I was happy so today I was gonna go fishing I talked to a neighbor and he said I still had 24 gallons of fuel in my garage from the hurricane and he said, um, I would top that boat off to know for sure if you have a leak or not. So I said, yep, good idea. So I put 24 gallons and it spurted out the vent. So I had it topped off. I had all the pies open on my, uh, on my, hat, on my deck hatch. I had those open so that I could really look at it. And I had my, you know, my bilge all opened up and I was, look, everything was dry. And I was so happy. And I was putting fishing poles in the boat. I was putting the cooler in the boat. Next thing I know, after about 30 minutes, I seen a wet spot. And I was like, uh-oh. Fisher and I inspected it with um, mirrors and a flashlight, and we could tell that the fuel was coming from this side. So Fisher, Victor, and myself took a razor blade, got all the caulk out, pulled up like 24 screws, slid that thing over, and we, we scraped this area, and gasoline, was coming out of these two holes like a geyser. See these two holes? So normally, if your tank was only 50% fuel, it was never a problem. Um, but since we topped it off, it exposed these two leaks. And uh, that seems like a safety issue to me, and I, and I don't want any anything like that on my boat. So we're, we're pumping it back down now. We're gonna take probably 24 or so gallons out of the boat so it won't leak out of these holes. We'll probably put some JB Weld on those holes. And the boat mechanic says it's actually safe, you know, let all these fumes and everything dry and it's safe to use the boat. That way we, we can look at the inspection plate on this tank and go to Edgewater and hopefully we can order this tank and have it shipped to us so we won't have downtime as far as, you know, lifting it up and having the, the tank duplicated so if, if we can get one from Edgewater that would that would save us a, a lot less downtime so that's it after we put a fuel tank in this boat there's not much left to do yeah. we've got it repowered rewired new electronics new stereo um, once we put the fuel tank um, th there's there's not much left so our boat is a 2002 and we've had it for I think five years now like almost five and a half years and slowly we've just been replacing things over the years as things break or just as we need to. And my dad's always been worried about this fuel tank. He's always was hoping, I hope we don't have to replace the fuel tank. I hope we don't have to replace the fuel tank. And finally, I think this is the last thing. And then we might, I think we've replaced everything, right dad? Yeah. This is literally the last thing. We've got a new engine. We literally did everything. And this is the last thing to replace. And then basically we have a new boat. <laughs> And it's a great little boat. We've had so many memories on it, as you guys have seen in Brooks' videos, my videos. And it's, Brian, I remember when he was looking for a boat, he wanted something super stable because he wanted to take his whole family on it. And you don't want a boat that rocks side to side. And this thing, stable, fuel, fuel efficient, which is great for us because, you know, we don't have a lot of money for gas. <laughs> and, um, yeah, but this is, it's like Brooke and Brian said, this is literally going to be a brand new boat. So Edgewater, if you're watching, this is going to be like a whole new little Edgewater makeover. Hope you guys are watching. <laughs>
so this is what we got going on right now. This center console piece, we're lucky. Underneath the helm seat has, I don't know, 50 screws probably. Yeah, about 24. <laughs> it has about 24 screws and it was caulked in with like an inch of caulk. So once they got the screws out, took off the caulk, this whole bottom floor piece just slid over so you can see the gas tank is completely exposed and the gas was just pouring out of the holes. I took a little video on my phone, I'll insert that right now. Not good. Not good. So when the gas is pouring out of the holes, we took this stuff and made a little tiny patch and that actually worked perfect. And we took to put two patches on the holes and we've just peeled off the patches because now the gas is low enough where it's not pouring out the top. And we're gonna make two new patches to just cover up the holes for now. But this stuff worked really, really well for what we needed it to do. JB well. I was surprised it stopped. Yeah. I was so surprised that gas was shooting out like it two actually, inches in the air. It actually went into the hole, and you can see there's there's the oh, size yeah. of, there's the size of the holes. See that? Yep. But it wasn't sticking because it, we stuck it down in pure gasoline. But it's it slowed the leak down pretty good for us. So then our neighbor Tim brought us over, I'm pretty sure he made it himself as fuel pump, so we're pumping out fuel out of the boat right now. So that's what we got going on here. Got it connected to the fuel tank, and then attached to the boat battery in there, and it's slowly filling up the gas tanks. Yeah. So right now we're just pumping out some fuel into these gas tanks, and we're putting the gas into our trucks. <laughs> but this thing is very handy. It is slow, but it works. Yeah, and it's safe. It's a fuel pump. There's, there's this one here. Oh well, look, there's. It's it's ready. See them? Yeah. We didn't even check these. All right, so I'm gonna mix up some more of this and patch our holes. Again. <laughs> Works mixing away. The first patch we did was under a quarter of an inch of gas and it, it helped but it didn't stick perfect. So now we cleaned the surface a little better and putting a new patch on. We and got one, the other one more to go. Okay, I think this one's ready. Well, as we sit here and it's 95 degrees outside, we actually have our sunshade up that's keeping this area nice and shaded. Normally, this thing is in the front of the boat, but my dad rigged it to put it in the back of the boat to get some shade. And my dad actually makes these things. Check it out. You guys would be in the sun right now. Worked out well. Oh yeah. If you guys need any canvas and you're in the South Florida area, <laughs> the link will be in the bio. We can actually build these sunshades and ship them to you no matter where you're at. You have to, you know, be pretty good with a tape measure and um, tell us how long the poles are and we can walk you through the steps to take the proper measurements and we can make you a sunshade for the back of your boat or the front of the boat, no matter where you're at. My dad actually owns the canvas factory, which he does custom marine canvas, which I actually used to work for him before I decided to go full-time on YouTube. But now my younger brother works for him, but he's been in the business for 33 years now making things like this. We're gonna hook our boat back up. And we're actually going to use the rest of the fuel until our new fuel tank comes in. So the mechanic told us that it's perfectly safe to use like this, right? Yep. Ready? Yeah. Is it in? Edgewater, man. Some boats, you got to saw the freaking floor up. How's it going, Vic? It's going. I'm almost done putting all the stainless steel screws back and I think that um, we diagnosed what was happening wrong and thank God it's not worse than it is and we can still run the boat for, I don't know, about a month and do a couple fishing trips, run it real low and then get a new gas tank once it comes in. It wasn't too bad and the nice thing that Edgewater, like a lot of boats, the gas tank 
from what I hear, the gas tank will be underneath the center console or underneath a coffin box or something. So it would be way harder to remove. If Brick points the camera, that thing's way heavier than just this seat and then just this deck. So pretty simple project and the boat was designed very well in terms of um, fixing things, you know? Well, I wanted to go fishing today and post a fishing video for you guys, but we did this boat project instead. So thanks for watching guys. We'll keep you updated on the boat and hopefully in the next video we'll be fishing. See you then. Not good. Not good.